to me. <laughs> I thought you were singing to me. Can't you see? Sit. Touch me, Dave. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I laugh at myself every time I find myself going through these phases in and out of meditating and then not meditating. It blows my mind every time that I stop and then start again because I am reminded every single time that I start again why it is that I do it and how important it is to start my day. <laughs> ah! Ah, is this the last one? Oh. Is this the last one? Yeah. I'm Ooh. jamming out to Fleetwood Mac, dude. Yeah? You loving life right now? Dude, The Dance might be the best album. All right, top five of mine all time. It's live, dude. It's a live album. It is a really good album. And it sounds so good. Ready? Underway. Ready? Yeah. Dude, it still looks clean. It does look really clean, huh? You guys might remember we put these water tanks in four months ago. And we kind of rushed to put these in just for this reason. So we can do stuff like make concrete, make mortar. And this is coming in handy just fine, huh? That's right. So I was thinking about building this a little bit wider, but this is gonna be big enough. I was thinking about going two more blocks. Yeah. And the advice from my dad, for those of you wondering, I've been calling my dad just to get his input on stuff. He told me to build this taller and like three, basically three times the size yeah. to collect water. And we thought about that for a really long time. Cause that, that's kind of the idea of what we wanna do is to make everything as functional as possible. But we're thinking about the long game and Something that we eventually want to do is build a bump out on the bus to have a room that comes out to about here. So if we extended this to here, it'd be like, yeah, it'd be great for water now, but it would take out that whole space for that, that little like extra room that we want to build. building a pump house and it's really nothing more but a three by three by three cinder block cube and this is what's gonna house our water pump and our pressure tank and three sediment filters that we're putting in there as well and in all honesty this is the first time that the two of us have ever laid brick down in our lives so if you're looking for a DIY video on masonry this definitely isn't it We had plantains. We did. I have no idea. So we got some patacones and then a s avocado, sweet potato, southwest dip, baby. You did it. Woo. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> While Kaylee was whipping up that little lunch, I ran to the store. Got some sand, some blocks, and some cement. And I also placed an order to get 19 two by 12 by 12 boards for our deck. So those are gonna come on Monday, which is in just a few days. So we can finally get back to getting our deck done 
And I know I supposed to still have on my horizon the bus. So if you're wondering why haven't we finished painting the bus? Well, two reasons. Number one is the wind, and we didn't want a bunch of dirt to be blown on the freshly painted paint. And number two, Kaylee really doesn't like the color. Mm-mm. No bueno. I'm, it's start, I'm starting to grow it. See, it's growing you know on the, me. the color that I'm looking more towards? What's that? Like this one. It looks pretty close to love. But like a little bit lighter than that, though. And that's it for today. Another day in the books. We're officially all out of mortar. And we're almost all done. We just probably need maybe like, I don't know, a quarter more of a barrel. So I gotta do these walls, the outside walls, and then some of the top here. And we also have to cut the rebar too. Then we just gotta put a little roof on and it's all done. But I think it's looking pretty good. It is looking pretty damn good, huh? I'm honestly pretty pumped for our first time laying some brick. I don't think we did that bad of a job. No, I feel like I definitely would not want to build a house this way though. You wouldn't need like 30 guys. Oh, 100%, or it would take us years and years and years. Just walking into town. Gotta go and see our buddy Arturo. He hasn't been on the vlog in a minute, so we gotta go and get some stuff from him. Uh... It's, I think it's very... Bueno. bueno. How much? His first boyfriend, interesting. Wait, what do you say about your first boyfriend? <laughs> Arturo always but says... He was ugly. He was interesting. Yeah, so he, he, doesn't, he doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. You guys see this coffee right here? Any guesses how much this costs for one pound? One pound. That's like what you buy when you go get your Starbucks bag. One pound of this coffee? $1,100. Not that bad. It's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually gonna be trying this this coffee really soon, so you guys will see in an upcoming video us trying eleven hundred dollar pound coffee. Should be interesting. Thank you, sir. Arturo just gave us brown and white filters, so you can prove to us that making your coffee with white filters tastes different than making your coffee with brown filters. Which one do you prefer? White. <laughs> see, I use I used to always go brown. <laughs> Here's my, my piece of advice for the day. Make friends with someone who runs a coffee shop because you end up walking out with all these different coffees. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. There's so many fireflies out right now. It might be hard for them to see. I don't think they'll be able to see. Let me see if we can try. So those aren't fireflies. That's the town over yeah, there, right all those there. lights. See, right down there. I've never seen them before. I wonder if it's like the season farm or something. You're not gonna be able to see my camera right no, now, but this no. place is just cooler and cooler. And at night, it just gets totally different. It's like, you can't hear anything. You can't hear any cars. You can't hear any people and the sky. I've never seen more stars. I have some good news to share with them. So for the first week, we started staying in the bus. I had a really hard time sleeping, partially because the wind has been pretty crazy. But now that that's dying down and I'm getting used to being up here and being more comfortable being up here and with our surroundings, I've been sleeping like a baby. I'll tell you guys, I think last night might have been the strongest wind that we've ever had up here. Yeah, and I, we, both of us just slept right through it, which is amazing. Why are we still awake? It's past my bedtime. <laughs> what are we still doing? I'm usually sleeping by now. She gets so upset. She was in a little ball huh? under the blanket. And I was like, come on, put your head up here. What was she on, upset about? She kept making those noises. <laughs> no, I'm comfortable. <laughs> okay, amigos. That's it for today. Es todo por esta noche. Necesito duerme porque tengo mucho cansado. Sí, mucho cansado. Mucho cansado. <sighs> well, I guess this is where we're going to leave you. See you next time. That's about it.